Hello and welcome back. My name is Dave and this is Fuzzy Tutorials. So today we've got something a little different. Today we're going to be talking about the Logitech M570 trackball. And I'm going to be showing how to get some of the advanced features out of the control center software. Uh, this journey started because I couldn't get the uh, middle, the mouse wheel click to work as an actual middle mouse button and I've been actually trying to get this figured out for almost a year since I got this model and now I've got it figured out so I'm going to show you guys I've seen a ton of messages on different um, on different review sites and user forums about this issue and people are always complaining about this and I was actually considering buying a different trackball because of this issue. And I'm so happy that I've been able to solve this. So I'm going to share that with you today. Let's get started. Okay, so here we go. So the first thing uh, you need to do is open up your system preferences. Now I'm working off the assumption that you've already installed the control software. This isn't going to be a tutorial on how to install it. So we'll go into our control center and then we'll select the trackball and we'll go into configure. So here's the problem. Now I've used these, uh, now this particular model is fairly new to me, I bought it about a year ago, but I've been using this style of Logitech trackball for 20 plus years and I've always really liked them, but I was actually considering buying a new one because when I got this one it no longer had the three separate buttons with the scroll wheel in the middle of one of them. They converted the scroll wheel to a button in and of itself. And when you go in to configure it, by default it shows only to use it for horizontal scrolling. And you can't even get decent control of it you can either make it go to the left or only to the right for horizontal scrolling while you hold it down. And spinning it, uh, uh, spinning the scroll wheel gives you uh, increased or decreased speed of horizontal scroll. Now maybe some people find this useful. I don't. And now that I've been doing this video editing stuff for a while, uh, when I get into doing the 3D graphics, I have to have a middle mouse button. So I've been having to reprogram my right button as a middle click. And then, of course, I lose my right button functionality. So I was, I was seriously considering getting another one. And when I was looking at different trackballs out there, I was seeing a lot of chatter. And everybody was asking questions. Well, how does this compare to the M570? Does it work as smoothly? Is it as nice to use? A lot of them just didn't measure up as far as the smoothness of how the ball operates and everything. And I wasn't really looking forward to, to buying a new one. I really like this one, but that's my one complaint with this. I've gone to Logitech several times and I've asked tech support two or three times and this last time I asked them, they sent me a link to some new control software, but it was an older version than what I've already got. And it still didn't solve my problem. But I thought, you know, this guy seemed to be a little more knowledgeable that I was talking to and seemed to think this was going to solve my problem. So I started looking a little deeper and I ran across something. It's been sitting right in front of my nose, plain as day, and I just didn't notice it. So if you look over here on the right, 
you'll see these little double-headed arrows here. And I just thought this was something to let me change the order of how stuff is displayed or maybe just a, a line indicator or something. I just didn't look closely at it. So I'm just going to zoom in on here for a sec so you can see it a little closer. So all you do is you click on that and now you get a whole new menu of options you can pick from. So now I'll go to the click menu and now I can set my scroll wheel click as a middle button click and this solves my whole problem. And just so you can see some of the other options available, you've got an advanced click option and here you can set up uh, some more advanced features with modifier keys and you can have it simulate different button numbers. I mean it, this control software is actually really good once you know how to get to those extra settings. I just wish that they had some kind of documentation for this. When you install this there's no indication that these submenus exist and I've been through their site several times and their tech support and their frequently asked questions and nothing comes up when you do a search for assigning a middle button click to the to the wheel you just get a bunch of unrelated stuff so that's why I felt this was necessary to do this so just a quick little tutorial and now that you know what's there, you can go in and really play with the advanced settings. But I've got what I, I need right here. And now you can do some advanced stuff with it too. So if you uh, enjoy what I've done here, please click that like button. Make sure you subscribe if you want to see future videos. And make sure you click that notification bell so you don't miss a thing. Thanks for hanging out with me today. We'll see you soon. Bye for now.